what is the TOEFL or IELTS? Do I need to take it? The TOEFL, the test of English as a foreign language, and IELTS, the International English Language Testing System, are two popular choices of English proficiency tests and are accepted by most universities. Most colleges require international students to have completed one with the grade requirement and preference, if any, clearly stated on the website as part of the admission process. Some colleges may waive this requirement if certain prerequisites are met. Both evaluate how well you can combine your listening, reading, writing and speaking skills. You have to pay a separate fee to take both tests. Fees can vary depending on where you take the test, but expect to pay anything between 170 to 250 US dollars. The TOEFL is a four hour long test, whereas the IELTS is two hours and 45 minutes. One of the main differences is the speaking part of the test. For IELTS, you are required to take the exam face to face with an IELTS examiner. For TOEFL, the speaking test consists of six questions which you answer into a microphone. These are recorded and then sent to an examiner to mark. The scoring system is also different. IELTS rates you between 0 and 9 with halfway points in between. TOEFL gives a more numerical SAT style grade, totaling your scores from all areas. TOEFL is administered by the Educational Testing Service, a non-profit US-based organization, and conducts its tests according to US English. IELTS is administered jointly by the British Council, the University of Cambridge, ESOL, Examination, and IDPA Education Australia, and conducts its tests in UK English. The differences between the two are not significant, but the spelling variation or accent differences could pose a problem for some students. Browse through the guides for both before deciding which one to take. Test results are valid for two years and you can retake the exam as many times as you like. It is important that you check the university website before taking your English proficiency exam, not only to see if there is an exam preference or a minimal score requirement, but also if you're eligible for a waiver.